Welcome U.S. Army veteran, Representative John James from Michigan's 10th Congressional District. Good evening, Wisconsin. Warmest regards, warmest regards from Detroit, home of the NFC North champion, Detroit Lions. Well, in, in seriousness, in seriousness, uh, didn't Wesley do a great job? One of my West Point classmates, class of 2004, and there's another Midwestern boy who did a great job. Our vice presidential nominee, J.D. Vance. Another, another Midwestern boy. You know, he, he's going to need some help when he comes up to Michigan. I'll do everything I can, but he might be the first Buckeye to win in Michigan since last time Trump was in office. But those are two great American dream stories from the Hunt family and from the Vance family. But I have another American dream story to tell you about. It's about a little boy from Starkville, Mississippi, who lived directly across the street from Mississippi State University. But he couldn't go there because he was black. Despite growing up in the Jim Crow South, he refused to let vulnerability become victimhood. He paid his way through college served honorably in Vietnam, and started a trucking company with one truck, one trailer, and no excuses, hauling beer back and forth between Detroit and Milwaukee. I grew up in awe of that story because it's, it's my dad's story. It's, it's part of my story. He and my mother raised me, never telling me that this is a racist country. Never. Never. Even though we have market blemishes in our past, even though we have much farther to go, even though they endured racism, it did not define the nation they loved. They taught me I could do anything I set my mind to. They taught me to put the Lord first always. They taught me to use my blessings to be a blessing to others. And that's what we're doing here today. That's why I went to West Point. I became a Ranger Qualified Apache pilot and flew 750 hours operations in Operation Iraqi Freedom. You know, you know, there's something else me and President Trump have in common. The bad guy shot at us both, but they missed. And we'll keep on fighting for America until the good Lord takes us home. By the grace of God, I was able to come home after my deployment and help run the company business. Now I have the honor of representing Michigan's 10th Congressional District, the number one manufacturing district in the best state in the entire unit. My family's story is the American dream story. But my biggest concern right now, my biggest fear, is will children today be able to look back and share that same story? Look, I firmly believe Americans have not given up on the American dream. Joe Biden and the Democrats have given up on the American dream. Joe Biden and the Democrats think they know how to spend your money better than you do. They want to take your dollars, they want to take your voice, they want to take your control and give it back to D.C. bureaucrats to execute their woke and Green New Deal agenda. Well, that plan doesn't work because hope is not a plan. Black people were sold on hope. Now our streets are rife with crime. Our kids can't read and illegals are getting better help from Democrats in four days than we've gotten in 400 years. Uh, look, our daughters were sold on hope, and now they're being forced onto playing fields and changing rooms of biological males. America was sold on hope, and now the world's on fire. Our borders are wide open, and Americans are going into debt to pay for their groceries. But, but, but look, 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 we don't even have to imagine a brighter day. We just have to remember, under President Donald J. Trump, we had a secure border. Under President Donald J. Trump, we had peace in Europe. And under President Donald J. Trump, we had an economy so good. We had an economy so good, Democrats were trying to give Obama the credit for it. Look. Yeah, I heard a little bit earlier today, if you don't vote for Donald Trump, you ain't black.
But see, here's the thing. By the grace of God and the proven leadership of Donald Trump, for every American, regardless of race, color, and creed, we could once again have a land where a child's outcome isn't determined by their zip code. We can once again have a land where hard work truly does get you ahead. We can once again have a land where you can go from poverty to prosperity in a single generation. I believe that land is still America. America is the greatest idea that's ever been. America, I believe deeply in my heart, America is the greatest idea that's ever been. It's worth fighting for, it's worth sacrificing for, and it's worth getting out to vote for because I truly believe in the deepest heart of hearts that with Donald J. Trump back in the White House, the best is yet to come. God bless you. Thank you. God bless America.